Hello. Today is a special day. Throughout history, there has always been great, grand, and wholly anticipated battles. Battles that have changed the future and the past as we know it. Among the greats are David and Goliath, the brave Spartans versus the fiend Persians, the universe's hero, Goku, versus the destroyer, Frieza, and last but not least, the champion, Harry Potter, versus the Dark Lord himself, Voldemort. But today, we have a belt like no other. Some call it the biggest battle in history. By all means, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! I love alcohol. <laughs> I don't smoke weed, but it should be legalized. It should be legal. I think it's misunderstood. Alcohol is worse than weed. Really is worse than weed. <laughs> I think I'm pretty neutral on the idea of it. I love marijuana so much, I made a painting about marijuana. Mary Jane. I pretty much drink when I can. I was drunk too much my freshman and sophomore year, which kind of got me a acute pinched abdomen. And it also like caused me to get ulcers, so I can't drink as much as I did. But um, the things that I like to do are kind of like artist-based. So alcohol kind of gets me in the zone to help me think, in a sense. So. Alcohol is one of those things where it's cool when you're younger just because you have no real tolerance, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not old enough to buy it. So when you get your hands on it, you be so eager to like gobble it down that you're not realizing the true effect it really has on you. But as you get older, you realize like alcohol really kind of like destroys your body. I do believe you can get a lot more carried away with alcohol. Um, one thing can lead to another, you feel a lot more uh, brave, strong, a lot more courage, a lot more willing to do things that maybe you would not do, well, definitely that you would not do with a sober mindset. <laughs> the facts are worse than weed. It's I legal. If you, if you of age. If you of age. So basically you can get as messed up as you want to. Right. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't think it's terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm not against alcohol. <laughs> but I'm not for it either. I'm not an alcoholic though. Basically, you know I mean? basically. But if you want to, you know, have a sip of wine with your steak, do you? Oh, uh, a pint of hand with your cake. I mean, it's all decent. Whatever you got to do. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, just, just be of age. Or if you oh, don't get caught, I mean. <laughs> I think it's what you make of it. I mean, I don't really have an opinion on the other side, but. Hello, here I am tonight. So I feel like you can have fun with it, but it's what you make of it. It's like you can have too much of it, you can have a little bit, you can have a lot. It's what you make of it and the choices you make with it. So I think that goes on the other side too. It's the choices you make with it. Yeah. I've come up for me a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be very dangerous because depending on the environment you're in, depending on the people that you're with, you can drink too much. You put yourself and make uh, very bad decisions because you think you're fine. You see it all the time. But I mean, just like with anything else, it depends on uh, how, my, how you moderate yourself. If you ever had a drunken night, like you went to a party, you drank a lot of alcohol, you wake up in the morning and you, you feel bogus, you feel shitty, you know what I'm saying? You don't feel good because it's a toxin to your body. But that's only if you choose to see it that way. Some people like feeling that way. I don't understand why, but some people like feeling how I like the feeling that alcohol gives them. I personally do. I mean, we should definitely be legal because 
if alcohol is legal, there's no reason we shouldn't be. Like, people get drunk and get into car accidents, although people do the same thing with weed. Like, the majority of people, you're more in, a, you're more in your element and more in your mind when you're high than when you're drunk. So, for one to be legal and the other not to be, kind of doesn't make too much sense. So, it should definitely be legal. And, like, doctors prescribe it. So, like, it makes no sense for, like, something to be legal, but then when you're sick, then it's not legal. Like, everybody should kind of have that privilege. Yeah, and if you're getting it from somewhere professional, you know you're not, you know what you're getting. <clears throat> you know, you buy stuff from a drug dealer. I have a buddy, I have a buddy who got weed laced with meth. I mean, if you go to a dispensary, that's not going to happen. So, you know what you're getting when you go somewhere professional. It takes away the risk factor. Back in high school, I used to smoke a lot. Came to college, smoked a little bit, but I kind of stopped smoking for the simple fact of like how tedious it was when it came to getting jobs and like it was just a lot. So I became, I kind of substituted it with alcohol so I can have my own time out. But um, smoking is dope, like it's good for the people that like to do it. Um, it's an enhancer in my opinion, like it kind of, it makes you think in different ways that you wouldn't necessarily think sometimes. When it comes to like the flip side, if you're comparing the two, if you smoke too much weed, you pass out, you go to bed. <laughs> if you drink too much alcohol, you have no fu you have no idea what's gonna happen. You go you go drive in your car, go kill somebody, and that's scary stuff. So see, people often get the two alcohol and drugs confused when in reality, alcohol is a drug, and it kills people on the day to day. You know what I'm saying? The fact that that's legal. Like, you allow people to put toxins in their body, but something that could help someone is illegal. And the reason why it's illegal is just, it's bogus. Because, see, back in the day, marijuana was so heavily used by everyone. The government even forced farmers to produce it, and if they didn't produce it, they can get in a lot of trouble because they used to use it for their clothes. They used to use it for their food. They used it for, for everything, like everything. Like it could just be used for any and everything, you know what I'm saying, and it naturally grows. I mean, I can think of a lot of times I've come out of like shop and save with a cart full of like, you know, a case of beer and a fifth or whatever and haven't thought anything of it. But I think if you walk past somebody, you know, just carrying a bag of weed or whatever, you'd question them a lot more than you question somebody with it. Alcohol. Make weed illegal. Cause it, like back then, like in the 1700s, weed was such a big manufacturer. Like it was like uh, damn near 10,000 plantations of just weed. Right. Cause it, it wasn't always illegal. But I also don't like how the drug war is basically targeting blacks and other minorities because of weed. You know, they basically introduce weed for blacks. And my, like, not introduced it, but you know, a lot of black motherfuckers use weed, so they basically use that to target and penalize them. Now, motherfuckers that go to jail for weed are convicted felons. Now they lost privileges such as voting rights and bullshit like that. And now it's a huge population of motherfuckers locked up that's Hispanics, blacks, that vote for like democratic views that can't even vote now, that's not even in jail no more, but they still have their privilege of voting taken away. Now the politics in America is a bunch of bullshit. Ass linger. He was in a he was in a drug game heavy. He wanted to know about like how he could make more money. He wasn't a, he wasn't making enough money off cocaine alone being illegal. So he 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 looked around. He saw all these people smoking his marijuana. He was like, wait a minute. If I can make marijuana illegal, I can make a lot of money. So what this man did is he wrote up this blueprint and he took it to Congress. And what that blueprint stated was, he basically told Congress, you see, you see all of these black and these Mexicans smoking this, this marijuana, it makes them want to kill their brothers. Your daughters, your white daughters are wanting to have sex with these black men when they smoke this marijuana. You got these jazz musicians playing all of this devil music and they, and they, and they smoking all this marijuana. Basically throwing race behind the whole thing and, and and Congress fell for it. Why? Because everyone knows America was built on racism and that's the thing that that, that drive our country at the time. And so Congress fell for it and, and made it illegal. 
people who like, yeah, I can stop smoking marijuana any day. Like, you just don't want to because it, it makes you feel at ease. You've been, you've been walking around, you woke up at seven o'clock in the morning, been in a class for nine hours straight, and then you got homework, and then you gotta clean up, and then like, you gotta find something to eat cause you broke and you in college. So hell yeah, I'ma flame up that motherfucking blunt. At the end of the day, it's just online. Like, why not? It helps me go to sleep at night so that I'm ready for the next day. And I'm not giving people attitudes because I'm tired and I'm mentally drained and I'm physically drained and I don't feel like dealing with no, no, nobody. Hell no, nah, I'll be the only motherfucker at the bus stop at 7.41 in the morning smiling cheese and listening to my music. You know why? Because I be high as hell. That's what marijuana do to you. It just make you happy. If everybody in America was to smoke some marijuana, America would be a happier place. For real, for real. But instead, it's just full of drunks. Just fun beats. It just don't get no better.